me tell you something. She's awesome. She's wonderful. And have you seen clips of the show yet? She's fantastic in the show, too. I mean, you know, the reason why we know Katherine Heigl's name is because she's a fantastic actress. You know what I mean? I mean, she's got a quality. She has a, she has a thing. And, you know, I don't know what happened before. You know, I, I did one episode of Grey's actually with her, and I found her lovely. But I don't know what that situation was before. But, you know, television is a grind, you know. It is, it is hours and hours of work. It is, you know, sometimes um, when you don't like it anymore. So I don't know what happened there, but with, with this, she's taking a break. She's only back on TV because she wants to be. Uh, she helped develop this show. She's an executive producer on this show. So she's happy and lovely, and the work speaks for itself. Yeah. Good question. Thanks. <laughs> Amber? Uh, a lot of the early comparisons the show is that it might be a little bit similar to Scandal. So do you watch Scandal and why is it not like Scandal? You know, that's a tricky question to ask me. Um, I mean, you know, how is it not like Scandal? I, you know, I, I like Scandal very much. I like Shonda's work very much. I can't wait, you know, for the, the new show she has coming up too. Um, I mean, I think that there are, you know, when you look at Washington and you look at politics, there are so many different vantage points to look at that. I mean, one show cannot cover the sort of, the, you know, the grind and, the, and the, the different levels, you know, in a place like D.C. So, I mean, I think obviously, you know, we've got, there are many, many shows on TV right now uh, that, that, that look at look at that world and, and they're all different and I think there's room for them all. Our show uh, deals with the CIA deals with the fact that every day the president has to look at you know these top this top ten list top ten list of, of threats facing the country and the, and the world really so um, that's a world we haven't seen before that certainly is not scandal like so I say give it a try you know give it a try on November 17th and see what you think on global Absolutely. <laughs> Hey, Sean. I have a question for you. Um, it doesn't seem like particularly progressive necessary to have a uh, black woman president on the show, although perhaps in the context of America it does when you have a black male president. Yeah. Does it seem outwardly to you, you know, as a black male, that it's a progressive show more than just an entertainment? I think so. You know, I think um, I was on a plane recently. I hope this comes out in the right way. But I was on a plane recently and a woman fainted. This woman fainted in the middle of the aisle. And everybody that rushed, I didn't notice at first. 20 minutes later, I noticed that all the people, so they asked if there was a doctor in the house. There was a doctor, there was a nurse, there were, you know, and other people. So there were about four people surrounding her and they were all women helping this woman. Um, and I, I nudged my wife and I said, it's all women. You know, I just, and, and, you know, and, the, and the, the sort of the talk that was happening between them, the way it was, you know, it was happening fast, it was happening, it was like, it was a show. I mean, you know, it was like real time, they were solving this problem. And um, so, yeah, it's, you know, I, it still means something to me to see, you know, Katherine Heichel and Alfre Woodard leading a show, you know, and being the leaders of a show, that still means something to me in, in 2014. Maybe someday it won't. Maybe someday we'll be, be able to take that for granted. But right now, I, sh I sure don't. Yeah. Do we have one more question? Uh, I'm just curious, sorry, Andrew from The Gate. Uh, hey Andrew. Hi, I'm curious, did you get any kind of exposure to any CIA kind of stuff before you started all this? Yeah, not before I started, you know, um, but the, the, one, of the guys, one of the guys that is uh, responsible for the show being in, in existence actually had this job as a CIA analyst. Hmm. And he's one of our EPs, and so he's on set all the time. We asked him many, many questions all the time. So he's a wonderful resource to have, Rodney. He's a wonderful resource for us to have on the set. And he's gonna, you know, he's gonna be instrumental. So he, you know, it's he told us stories about how there's a lot of 
there really are those interpersonal relationships and the marriages and stuff that come out of these jobs because they go to work from two in the morning to eight in the morning. I mean, you know, it's, it's a, and they're not really allowed to share information outside of that room. Right. And so, yeah, you kind of, this is your group and you, you, you party with these people, you, you fall in love with these people, you fall out of love with these people. So yeah, he, he shed a lot of light on it for us.